seven contestants are now left. One of them is a traitor, the Mole. The Mole is doing whatever he or she can to secretly prevent the others from winning money. Can you spot the clues? Can you identify who the traitor is? Cam couldn't, and last week he was eliminated. Or was he? As always on the Mole, there's a twist at every turn. And as always, there's one simple question yet to be answered. Who is the traitor? Who is the mole? 10 contestants, 10 weeks, one winner. Taking home up to $500,000. But one of the 10 is being paid to deceive the others and sabotage the games. That person is the mole. The contestant who figures out who the mole is and who does the best job at tracking and remembering the mole's every move wins the money. So can you figure out who is the mole? Cam. Cam, we have to go. Cam, the firefighter from Melbourne, scored lowest in the computer test and he was eliminated. He just taught me so much. How to appreciate life. Cam thinks he's on his way home, eliminated from the game. What he doesn't know is that his life on the mole may not yet be over. I want to make you an offer. You can have Cam back in the game and earn $50,000 towards the kitty. Think it over. This is the deal. Even though Cam's been eliminated, the contestants have the power to bring him back into the game. If they do decide to bring him back, the prize kitty will be increased by $50,000. It's easy money, but not everyone wants him back. I'm not going to vote for him to come back because I just don't see an upside for me. I'm not confident about who I think the mole is. It will take just one vote to bring Cam back. Six contestants voted against him returning. But for one of them, the $50,000 was too good to pass up. Bring Cam back. Cam still thinks he's been eliminated. Um, I've still got a bag full of uh, laundry and stuff that was taken from Cam the has been picked up from his hotel. He thinks he's going to the airport. In fact, he's being taken to the Numia Container Terminal, the site for the first assignment of the episode. Cam is back in the game, and he's about to get the shock of his life. This isn't the airport. No, it's the airport. And we're not sending you home in a container. No? Tell me. Last night after you were eliminated, I made your friends an offer. Yes. We offered them $50,000 towards the kitty if they were willing to have you back in the game. Yes. Some of them took it. Welcome back. We have an assignment for you. You better throw that on. I'd risen from the dead. I was... Come on. Lazarus was back. So <laughs> it took me a good... A good bit to sort of take it all in the fact that um, that I was back because there is no there is no coming back. But sometimes they come back. The other contestants are arriving at the container terminal because the vote to bring Cam back was a secret ballot. Only Chris knows that they'll be seeing Cam again. One question though hangs over all of them: Could Cam be the mole? If Cam was the mole and he got himself eliminated, and we brought him back. It would basically remove him from any sort of suspicion for the rest of the game. That'd be a pretty smart strategy. The mole's not going anywhere, so if he's the mole, he'll be back. There's no doubt about that. If he comes back, I think he's probably the mole. If he's not the mole, he's dishonest. So either way, I don't think he'll be getting along with many people. Howdy. Hi. All right. Now that we're all met, we have an assignment for you. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, we're not quite all met, are we? Group, meet Cam, 
Cam, join group. Hello, hello. Hello. This is very weird. Anything you want to ask him? Why am I here? What happened? You don't know about the deal. I heard you got uh, offered 50 grand to get me back in the game. Had a vote. And it doesn't have to be unanimous. I don't know who voted. The $50,000 from Cam's return brings the kitty up to $86,000. But no one seems happy about it. He just looked like, you know, he, he wasn't on our side. So it just, the whole trust thing, you can't really trust anyone in the group. I was damn disappointed, because I didn't want to see him back. I discovered very quickly I didn't have any mates at all. There was nobody was happy to see me, nobody. I was expecting a group hug, and I got a wall of nothing. Now that we are all here, I have an assignment for you. Choose four who love to drive. Paper, scissors, oh, drive. Anyone really, really want to? Hang on, drive, wait, I think about driving skills. Their assignment will be to unpark the red car. The only way to do it is by moving the silver cars out of the way. Four contestants will be controlling the game and four will be driving the cars. Drivers, straight through there. Oh, good luck, guys. Oh. We call this assignment parking lot. Your objective is very, very simple. All you need to do is get your car out of the lot. Now, to do it, each of you is paired with one of the drivers, and you'll be relaying instructions to them. You can see the grid, they can drive the cars. This is teamwork. Each car can only move forwards and backwards and it can only move in lengths of this grid. So it must move in complete squares, forward or back. Is all that clear? $5,000 to get the car out of the car park. You have an entire hour to complete it. Cool. Understood? Yep. yep. And your time starts oh, now. Okay, wait. I think I'm... This is a test of teamwork, something two, they've so been lacking so far. Hang on, wait, let's... let's find out how we got the other end of our walkie-talkies How do we use this? OK, guys, look, this one can easily go there, that one can go to there. That clears up that. Yep. This one can come to there, that one can That's go back. up to there. Yep. So that clears those three. Yep. Why don't we do that? Because that we can do. You can find car 10. OK. This, in fact, is an easy puzzle. It takes just nine moves to get the red car out of the grid. But this is just a warm-up. After this, there'll be a much harder puzzle. I want you to come forward the same as what Nikki just did in car number 10. Move it to that same position. OK, OK, let's move this one back here. Look, move that back. That can go there. That can go there. Easy. Ha ha. Look, this one can go back. That can go back. This one can go to there. That one goes to there. Woohoo! Hang on. OK, hang on, hang on. Why do we have an hour? Who cares? <laughs> just do it one at a time. Um, OK, now, we've got Process someone moving on 11. They have an hour to solve the puzzle, and it's so far taken them a little over 11 minutes. Woohoo! It was too easy. It was too easy. There's yeah, something. There's something. Something couldn't have been too easy. Hang on, that was the instructions. Get the car to the other side. So I guess you've won $5,000. Yeah. yeah. Have we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah! They're now full of confidence. The trap has been set. It's well done. $5,000 in the kitty, guys! $5,000 in the kitty. But second time around, the puzzle will be twice as hard. One hour time limit, double or nothing. You guys are aces at this. <laughs> Next on the mall, teamwork time, breaks one down. Way out of control. You, you, you can't share squares. Pull your head in, Josh, and stop telling everyone to move. And one of them is taken hostage. This just gets better. The contestants breezed through their first parking puzzle and won $5,000. Second time around, we've added one more car. The contestants have a choice. Keep the money or risk their winnings and play for $10,000. So the offer stands. You can run away with your $5,000 towards the kitty or you get another hour. Yay or nay? Yay. Yay. Yes, yes, okay, yes. And there they go, time's on. Good luck. Uh, okay, we want to start at the end again. Please move these ones out the way to start with. One more car in the car park has made the puzzle twice as difficult. After 10 minutes, they've got gridlock. 
turn left, straight, left, 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 keep going straight. That car on your left now, yeah, get in that, get in that, move it. Just, I'm getting instructions. Where's this car? Take it easy, boys. Keep going, Nikki, keep going, keep going, stop there. This is a game you can play on the Mole website. The puzzle can be cracked in 17 moves, but I warn you, it's not easy. Okay, hang on. 21, that was the car they brought in, right? Last, that's what stuffed up the whole thing. That's it. We need to that along to pull those down. Hello, what did I say? Try and free this area up down here, because then we can bring this one down here, and then it frees up some area there. Hey, we're working together, <laughs> remember? Hero. Oh, we're getting narky here. Hello. Gridlocked. Gridlocked. Well, maybe. Patience is beginning to wear thin, especially for the four drivers who have been moving cars back and forth, but getting nowhere. We move the seven back to here, right? Hey guys, this is Josh. Can I hear you with an idea? We're blocking the red car. Okay, Josh. Right. Um, I'm thinking that you guys are having a problem solving this for a number of reasons. Um, I wouldn't mind having a crack at this. Uh, what do you guys feel about that? Yes, you can. Go for it. They've used up 40 minutes. They have less than 20 minutes to go. Josh has taken over, controlling the game from the ground. Well, we've given him the instructions. There's lots of things, but we're not working together. It's one thing we're not doing right now. Do you want me to move forward? Oh, look, 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 what, 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 look, what, what is everyone Josh? doing? Josh, what are you Ali? doing? Ali, can you pass on a message to me? Josh, we want one person moving at a time, otherwise it's going way out of control and we can't see what's happening. Pull your head in, Josh, and stop telling everyone to move, all right? So just pull up around. You know, without asking us first. Well, I just got the instruction that I could do that, so... Who's in control over that end? You're instructed to suggest us to do things, OK? And we'll give you the nod. Right, OK. What teamwork they had has all but disappeared. They're moving cars without a plan. And whatever cars they do move, they get no closer to getting the red car out. Okay. We're going to go back and that, we'll go back. And... No. <laughs> no, we're getting closer. OK, get ready to go, Al. Just smash the red car straight out. 15 seconds. There's a single car blocking the exit, but it will take too many moves to get it out of the way. Relax, guys. It's all over, Red Rover. It's all over. Oh, well. Time. It's over. All right. We'll work it Stupid out. car. <laughs> they blew $10,000. Did the mole sabotage the assignment? Or did the mole just stand back and let everyone else do the sabotage? It was an absolute pathetic attempt. Pathetic. All of us. Don't blame anyone. Don't think there was any mole sabotage. Sabotage, maybe. Stupidity, yep. Egos, yep. <laughs> there was not any teamwork. And because everyone was out to prove themselves right, instead of like trying to think what was best for the task, that's how we came undone. However they lost it, there's always another day, another assignment. It's dawn on day seven. The contestants have so far won $86,000, and that morning there's another $5,000 to be won. Josh doesn't know it, but he's about to be taken Josh, hostage. You get? You've got five minutes, meet me in the foyer fully dressed. In the foyer, in five minutes, fully dressed. Go. Oh. Lead way by Grant, down to the helipad, and I thought, well, man, at least I get to take a helicopter somewhere. I thought, yeah, this would be kind of fun. This just gets better. And he hands me the blindfold, and I thought, oh. I'm not even get, get to see where I'm going. A couple of times when it turned and when it was landing, I just thought, I, I couldn't get out of my head that we're going to crash. And I thought, well, will this be a good time to pull the blindfold off? Josh is being taken to Amaday Lighthouse. It's a 10-minute flight from the hotel. Later that morning, his teammates will have one hour to find him. Josh has no idea where he is. All he knows is what he can feel. And I could tell I was on a staircase, spiral staircase, going up and up and up, and I thought, yeah, I had this horrible, again, thinking the worst, had this horrible feeling that the next step, whoop, be a total drop. OK, good. Now that you're completely confused, you can take your blindfold off. Hmm. You'll be 
getting a call. Josh is now a prisoner in the lighthouse and he'll stay there until he's rescued. His friends, meanwhile, are having breakfast. For now, they don't even realise that Josh is missing. Oh, Did he design them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his boss designed them. That's what they started. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Hello. 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 Well, I have some bad news for you. Josh has been taken hostage. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I'm going to need some help in finding him. Chris, Cam, Katrina, come with me. Don't let us down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> to find Josh, Petrina, Cam and Chris will have to earn clues. The clues will come as pictures on a TV screen. Only if they see all the pictures will they find out exactly where Josh is. Luckily, I can make contact with Josh. You can ask me questions. I'll relay them to Josh and he can answer them about his location and how to find him. But he can only answer yes and no. For each yes answer, you'll get a little closer to knowing his location. For each no answer, you'll lose two minutes from the time you have to find him. You start with 60 minutes. Everybody clear? Yes. Yeah. Your time starts. Now. Okay, so question. Well, um, I, are you on? Do you know where you are? Well, of course he knows where he is. Um, are you on an island? Like one of these? Are you on one of the, the islands off the mainland? Hello, hello. Josh, can you hear me? I can. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. It's far away. Are you on one of the islands off the mainland? I am. Thank you, Josh. I'll get back to you. That would be yes. That yes answer gives them their first picture clue. It's a photo of the doorway at the base of the lighthouse. Next question. Next question. Are you in a hotel? Josh. Yeah. Are you in a hotel? I am not in a hotel. Each About no answer time. knocks two minutes off the time they have to find Josh. No. Two minutes off. Okay. Can you see water from where he is? Josh, can you see water from where you are? I can see water from where I am. Yes. Oh, are you in... Where else could he be? Ask him he's indoors, for starters. Because all that... See, that's an outdoor picture, and it's an indoor picture. Yeah? Can we, can we ask are you indoors? Are you indoors? I am indoors. Oh, God. Yes. What is that? Okay, did you go by boat to get where you are? Ask him if you went by helicopter. Which one? Which helicopter. Question? If he's on an island, they'd just go by boat. Alright, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, whatever. Did you go by boat to get where you are? No, I did not. No. No, so he's obviously That's walking. four minutes off so far, on, but they still helicopter. have well over 50 minutes to find him. Should we ask about helicopter then? Yeah, ask helicopter. Oh, yeah, I'll get another picture. Did you travel to your destination via helicopter? I did travel to my destination by helicopter. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Sure. That's like a keyhole. <laughs> so, okay, so can we ask Josh if he's in a lighthouse? Josh, are you in a lighthouse? I am in a lighthouse. He is in a lighthouse. Oh, yes! What up? Yes. Ask him where. <laughs> <laughs> can we go? He's in a lighthouse. Well, if he's in a lighthouse. Okay. Why don't we go to the lighthouse? Where is the well, lighthouse? Where is the lighthouse? Well, what, what's our transportation? Helicopter. Helicopter. Let's so go to the helicopter and say... Take it to a lighthouse. Take it to a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> How many lighthouses, lighthouses can there be on this little island? It'll take them four minutes to run down to the helicopter and ten minutes to fly out to the lighthouse. So they run down to the helicopter, get strapped in. They should make it in plenty of time. But there's a problem. So we run all the way down to the helicopter and we say to the helicopter pilot, take us to the lighthouse. Which, which one? <laughs> we I don't know. know. Oh. Which is the closest? Hang on, but that might not no. be it. Righto. Back, back, back. Wait a minute, hang on, is that the best idea? There's many lighthouses. Yeah. Many lighthouses. Oh. There we go, okay. What? Now hang on, let's decide on it. 
All right, what do you want to do? Do you want to look around? Well, if do you want to go in the air and look? No, you can do the call, but if we go back, we're going to lose another half hour. If we go up that lighthouse, had a huge, huge palm tree next to it, no, next to the bridge. Look where we are, Chris. Look where we are. Look under the palm trees. Just hang on. Yeah, just look I at know, all the palm but trees. there's no lighthouse here, is there? Okay, we're wasting time now. Shall we go? Yeah. I'd like to go call. back. Okay, you want to vote? Call. You want to vote? Let's it's vote. Okay, let's do it. I don't want to go back. Go back to the Okay, I'm. I think go back. It's I fine. think let's go. Yep. And Chris says, all right, well, let's get in the helicopter and just fly around and look at them all because I reckon I can pick it. And we've seen, like, you know, we've seen this much of it. And she says, because, you know, it's a big white lighthouse with a brown front door and a big palm tree at the front. I said, big palm trees everywhere. Okay, so what do we, what do we want to ask? Yeah, we ask things like, uh... What um, colour is it or something? No, Can you see any no, colours? No, there's signs at the front. Is there anything special at the front? Yes, yeah, we'll Is there a hotel nearby? You back? A new question, please, Jeremy. New question? Yes. What question? Wait, let's think. So we need distinguishing marks. So something's so going to say it aside. Is there else. something unique about the island? How's that for a question? You can only say yes or, yes or no. Yeah, well, so, okay, what sort of things? Is it. It says yes, then we start narrowing it down a little bit. Can you see a hotel? Um, No. No. Not a two minutes up. Ask him, can he put an arm outside any window and wave if we go over? No. Eight minutes off total so far. Mm -hmm. Next question. Can you see a sign from where he is on the arm? Uh, no. No. Two what, minutes off. Is there any other structure on the island? OK, go for it. Is there any other structure on the island? Um, yes, there are. Yes. Guys, this is hopeless. All that we're getting pictures of is inside the lighthouse. They all look the same to me. I don't think it matters. I think we need a name. I think we need to know... How are we going to get a name? We can work out how to get a name with a yes-no answer. Is there, there... There's another structure on the island. Of course there is. Yeah, is it a... They're not just going to stick a lighthouse on a desert. I'm sorry. How much time have we got left, Greg? Oh, come on, guys. 27 and a half minutes. Okay. okay. But just think, okay, think about your other senses then. Could you smell something or could you did, hear something? Could you, could you hear did, something from did where you are? Did it take you longer than 10 minutes to arrive there on the helicopter? Yes. So. Josh, do you think it took you longer than 10 minutes to get to where you are by helicopter? Yes. So he's further than 10 minutes away. Right. So he's not on one of these close ones. So if he's further than 10 minutes away, we better get going. If he's further than 10 minutes away, we better get going. No, it's in the beginning. Go, go, go. Thank you, Josh. I think we need a name. Well, how, how do we get a name? name? Yeah, name. Yeah, 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 we don't have any names to get into. I think there must be some way that we, we can take it. We can't do it. We're going to go to the edge. Do you want to go and catch 20 minutes? Get out, get out, get out. Once more, they're racing to the helicopter, but they still don't have a name for the lighthouse. Do, are there any names? No. There's no names? No, no names. It's wasted time, but is the time wasting deliberate? Maybe we go up to the brown door in the body. Josh is a hostage in a lighthouse. To win $5,000, Chris, Cam and Petrina were given an hour to find him, but they've now got just 23 minutes left. There's no names. No, no names. The only two clues we've got, we've got six eyes. We know it's got a big brown sliding door with square vents in it and the palm tree. But we have no that's it. it. So we're going to have to take the helicopter down, land no, it, run out. No, we We can hover around. What are we going to see? We're going to see a helicopter. I mean, a... We're going to look for the brown door in the bloody thing. Katrina, will you listen? We got there. The three of us were so indecisive. Katrina's sort of nutting it out logically, going, well, I think we should go back. I think we should get more clues. I'm saying, let's hop in the helicopter and go. Cam's saying, no, 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 we're going back. I have done a dummy spit. Can't take off without a name. Oh. Okay, girls, we can't take off without a name. Oh, I knew it. And here we go again. Back up, all the way up. They're racing back to find more picture clues. It'll take them three minutes to get to the room, three minutes to get back to the helicopter, and ten minutes to fly to the lighthouse. There's a chance they can make it, but they have to know the name of the lighthouse. All we need is yes answers. We need to get more tiles. We need yes name. answers. What did the helicopter guy say? Trust me, look, ask me if the sun's in the sky. Josh, is the sun in the sky? Is the what? Is the sun in the sky? Yes, the sun is in the sky. Ask me if the sky is blue. Josh, is the sky blue? Yes, the sky is blue. At this point, I've had a, like, a light bulb's gone off, and all we need to get is yes questions. So um, I'm sitting there saying, right, Josh, is the, sky, is the sun in the sky? Yes, 
bang. Is the sky blue? Yes, bang. So all these clues are popping up. Is the water wet? Josh, from where you are standing, does the water look wet? Uh, from where I'm standing, yes, the water does look wet. It's got to be a name. Oh, that's it. Fair. That's the fair. I'm going to dig. That's fair the fair. Go, 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 go. Where was my bag? Run. And the last clue that we needed was a nice little map okay. with a picture of the uh, the island and the thing on it saying Fair Armadie. We need to go as fast as we can. We run down and we get in the helicopter. We've got 12 minutes. Spill, spill out of the thing. As soon as we land, we're going to spill out. To win the $5,000 for the prize kitty, all three of them have to be with Josh before the time runs out. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, you're coming to rescue me. Chris, no cam, I can see you. One Josh. small problem. Josh is at the top of the lighthouse, and it's 249 steps to get there. Cam's a fireman. He's used to running upstairs. We had 249 steps to the top of the lighthouse. Push. Push. <laughs> Bring it. Bring. I was having an asthma attack on the 50th step, and I don't even have asthma. Come on, Ashley. What? Coming. Oh. Oh. Little Petrina. <laughs> Come on, Chris, come on, Chris. Hey, Grant's Cam. Who's with you, mate? Yeah, me, Josh, Katrina. And Chris? Yeah, mate, yeah, we're all here. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you've left it a bit late. Right, uh... No money there, mate. Why don't you come on back? No. They missed out on the $5,000 by a little over a minute, yet they could so easily have made it. Each of the no answers lost them two minutes. They wasted time running back and forth from the helicopter, and Chris took twice as long as the others to climb the stairs. Any of that sabotage could have been deliberate. So could Petrina, Cam, or Chris be the mole? And I want to Chris. Actually, Chris big time. I think she's my number one. And she was slow, and she's always slow, and... She's just got such a perfect excuse, and she's so likeable, and she knows a lot about the game, she knows how it works, she'd know what it requires to be the mole. While the hostage rescuers have been busy, the other four have had the morning off. Their day of relaxation is about to come to an end. Hello. Hey. Hello. Which two amongst you are the culture vultures? Oh, you've been overseas. Well, I'll do know. it. Yeah. Alison? Sean, I don't think we're going to be out of OK, I'll go. <laughs> Me and Alison. Nathan and Alison. OK, you two will be going on a cultural tour. Alison and Nathan will be going to the Chibeo Cultural Center, a world famous building just outside Namia. They're being taken there for a guided tour, and at the end of the day, they'll be tested on what they've learned. But while they're doing the tour, Sean and Nikki will be secretly following them and doing an assignment of their own. Your friends are doing a quiz. They'll be asked a number of questions. But that's unimportant to you because you'll be doing a quiz of your own. Your quiz is to test how well you know them. We want you to predict what your friends are going to do in a number of given situations. If you know your friends well enough, you'll learn $1,000 towards the kitty each time you answer a question correctly. If you answer wrong, we take $1,000 from the kitty with every question asked. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. It does. Alison and Nathan are still on their way to the cultural centre. In a few moments, their car will stop at a corner store, the driver will get out, and two girl guides will approach the car and ask for a donation. Sean and Nikki will watch it all on a live TV screen. To win $1,000, they must correctly predict whether or not Alison or Nathan will donate money. Nathan always carries a whole lot of change. I don't think so. Here we go. Driver's exiting the vehicle. I need an answer now. Yes, I know. Quickly. You make first. 
No. No? No. They won't give them anything? No. Nikki and Sean have predicted that their friends won't donate any money to the Girl Guides. Here we go. See if the girl's approaching. <laughs> oh, don't. Uh, don't. Oh, no, I told you we'd give money. Don't. What's he doing? There's nothing in it for you, Nathan. What's he doing? Oh. Oh, looks like Nathan gave away a lot more than a couple of hundred francs there, didn't he? Hey? A thousand dollars from the kitty. They got the prediction wrong, and they're a thousand dollars down. How many other predictions will they also get wrong? Someone has dropped a wallet on the path. The question is simple. Will they pick the wallet up and hand it in, or will they leave it where it is? Nathan and Alison don't know it, but they're being followed and watched. As far as they know, their assignment is simply a memory test about New Caledonian Bonjour. culture. Bonjour. What? No, May. Bonjour. Bonjour. Alison. I am May. Nice to meet you. So, welcome to the Cultural Centre. Nathan and I were taken to the Cultural Centre and we were basically told to go in there and have a tour and try and remember what we could, because we'd be tested on it. In 1988, so for stopping the violence between the white people and the Canucks. As Nathan and Alison uh, start their cultural tour, Nikki and Sean arrive to continue their assignment. Nikki and Sean will be secretly watching Nathan and Alison and trying to predict their behaviour in different situations. OK. <laughs> this camera we've set up a little bit in advance. Someone has dropped a wallet on the path. Question is simple. Will they pick the wallet up and hand it in, or will they leave it where it is? They'll pick it up, pick it up and hand it in. Yeah. Okay. Here they are. Is it yours? Oh. No, hold on, yeah. I think someone lost their wallet. Okay. Is it yours? So let's hand it back to, to the reception desk. Okay, thank you. They've handed it in. Yes. Congratulations. You're back to zero. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Nathan and Alison, completely unaware that they're being watched, are cramming in every fact they can about New Caledonian culture. Every single word that she told us we wrote down. We even had a, a list of which plants are used for medicinal purposes, which plants are, symbolise the man and the woman and everything you can think of. Just a so we can yeah. make combs with bamboo? A little further down the path, Alison and Nathan will be invited to sit down on a bench just next to a garbage bin. Now, when they get here, another person's going to come down the path with an empty water bottle. You're going to throw the water bottle at the bin, it'll bounce off, hit the ground. The question is this, will your friends pick it up and put it in the bin or leave it on the ground? They'll pick it up. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't leave it. Yeah, they'll pick it up. They'll pick it up. Pick it up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There, here comes our friend with the water bottle. If either Alison or Nathan picks up the bottle and puts it in the bin, the group will win one thousand dollars. Girly throw. Oh. Hello. Oh. We're at zero again. No, you're minus one again. Oh. Bad luck. Ali looks at the bottle and goes to get up, and then she does it, and I'm like, "Get up, Ali! It's rubbish. Pick it up. Put it in the bin." And I'm like, what's she done? How can she see the bottle and not put it in? She had full intentions of put, putting it in the bin. Come on. She's still looking at that bottle. Oh, don't. <gasps> Sorry about that. Thousand dollars down. Now you have one last chance to redeem yourselves. In the final prediction, a stranger will talk to Alison and Nathan in French. Will either of them speak any French in return? A thousand dollars rides on the prediction. And later on the mole, who will be sent home? Chris. Alison and Nathan are doing a cultural tour. They don't know they're being watched and that Nikki and Sean are betting on their behaviour. Now, in a moment, your friends are going to come into this frame. 
Alison and Nathan's guide has been called away. And any moment now, a stranger will walk up to the two of them and talk to them in French. The question is this, will your friends attempt to deal with him in French or will they stick to English? They'll discuss it in English. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Both of them don't know how to speak French. Uh, they may say one oh, or two words like bonjour or something like that, but oh, other than that, French. English. They've predicted that Alison or Nathan will speak at least some French to the stranger. If they're right, they'll win $1,000. English? English? No, portefeuille noir. Uh, I don't understand French. Wallet. Oh, a oh, wallet. Um, do you have a, like, for, for money? Uh, <laughs> Reception! Check! <laughs> oh, no good. 2,000 down. Nikki and Sean failed in three of the four predictions. Nathan and Alison, meanwhile, have no idea they've been watched the whole time. We just had to guess on what you were doing. What these guys were asked to do is to predict a series of actions that you undertook. Now, you remember when you were driving out here, you stopped at a petrol station, and a couple of young girls came up and asked you for a donation. They were asked to predict whether you would or wouldn't donate the money. They said, <laughs> no way would you donate. <gasps> You're kidding me. Oh, oh, I said yes, and then how, he said How did no. they ask? How did they ask? In French, they, they just, just gave them some money. So I said, Nate will give money. We didn't know uh, what they said. We just gave them money. We shout you all the time. <laughs> That's it, we're off. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki and Sean's wrong predictions lost the group $2,000. But Nathan and Alison have a chance to win $5,000 if they've memorised everything from their cultural tour. You've gone around the cultural centre, yeah? You took notes? Mm -hmm. You had time to memorise things? Yeah. You've really concentrated? Let's bring this down to one simple question. What was your guide's name? May. May. Ooh, congratulations. $5,000. <laughs> congratulations, guys. <laughs> and good. we knew that within not even a second. We both just like so desperate to answer a question. Because we did prepare ourselves for that. We thought, you know, that kind of question would come up. I've got like 20 <laughs> pages of information and in <laughs> that was you gave us that in the first 10 seconds. Or what colour shirt you were wearing. <laughs> yeah, orange. All right, well, that's $3,000 on. Could have been 9000 but 3000 is still ahead. Well done. I'll see you later. Off you go. Kidding me, we don't want these cards. Alison and Nathan oh, won money for the prize kitty but Nikki and Sean lost money. Did either of them deliberately make wrong predictions to lose the group money? Or did anyone else deliberately sabotage any of the other assignments? Which of the eight contestants is the mole? That night, everyone does a computer test. The questions are all about the identity of the mole, and whoever scores lowest will be eliminated. The only way to get a high score is to correctly identify which of them is the mole. Chris is looking more mole-like every day. She just seems to be sneaky. Something always seems to go wrong around her. Josh, I just think he's absolutely capable of being the mole, but I don't know if the mole would be as obvious as him. Petrina's a time waster. Everything seems to take time with Petrina. Josh is sort of sabotaging from the other side. He sort of tends to break down the fabric of people. Chris argues a bit, which takes time, so that's probably where most of my suspicions lie. On it. There's been mole activity when Josh has been around, and there's been mole activity when Alison's been around. I think if anyone could be the mole, it would be Josh, because he's so cluey and so cunning and so clever. The contestants have their suspicions about who the mole is, but who do you think it is? SMS the name of the mole to 0421 267 770. And if you're correct, you'll go into a draw to win $25,000. So, what clues have you seen? Is the mole Alison, Cam, Josh, Chris, Nathan, Nikki, Petrina, or Sean? That night, as always, the contestants record their video diaries. Hi guys, it's that time, it's elimination again. Um, very stressful in the camp, everyone's very stressed. There's lots of dramas, uh, Cam has come back and the whole game has changed because 
people aren't happy to see Cam back. I'm back in the game again. Right. And uh, nobody wants me to be here. The whole Cam thing, my God, freaked me out. He just, he didn't look human. He looked strange and he looked evil. I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. I'm on the edge, I'm living on the edge, I'm holding it together at the moment, but I'm on the edge. And if I go night, it will just about push me over, I reckon, so best I don't, hey? But someone will go tonight. One of you has answered lowest on the computer questionnaire. That person knows the least about the identity of the mole, and by the rules of the game, that person will now leave us. Let's begin. If I go home tonight, I will be disappointed and I'll be glad. Glad that I made it this far and knew that I gave it everything I had. Everyone hates me. Elimination tonight. <clears throat> Who knows who's going? I'm pretty sure Cam's not the mole, so he's been eliminated once, even though I thought it was a great theory until then. Anyway, might see you later. Maybe I'll work. The results of the computer test are now known. One of the contestants is about to be sent home. At the end of the episode, the kitty stands at $89,000. Starting to become worthwhile, but you still have a long way to go. And you haven't yet learned to work as a team. Most of you will probably not stick around long enough to learn. One of you has answered lowest on the computer questionnaire. That person knows the least about the identity of the mole, and by the rules of the game, that person will now leave us. Let's begin. Chris. Josh, it's time to go. You're kidding. Josh is an amazing person. I don't think he's ever failed in anything in his entire life. I think he's so driven and so single-minded. He manages to accomplish everything he sets his mind to. I can remember Josh telling me about hitting that bullseye and what a fantastic feeling that was. When he got the target, he was ecstatic. I think that's the actual time we started getting along. He really helped us in what we were trying to achieve in this game. Like, he had a lot of intelligence, which would be greatly missed. He played this game hard, and he just seemed to know all the answers, and he was just, he's a fabulous guy. Just, I, I can't say anything bad about him. It's been a pleasure. It's been great. Have you enjoyed yourself? I've had a great, I've had a ball. Yeah? Yeah. Take See. it easy. In that night's computer test, Josh had failed to correctly identify the mole. He scored lowest and he was eliminated. Seven contestants remain. One of them is the mole. Next week on The Mole. Your assignment is to get off the island. It's escape from treachery. You'll be travelling by Ralph. All right, man. One of them will try to beat the others. If you can find 2,000 francs, you can hire a kayak. I'm interested. And walking the plank for a free pass. On them is an image that says exemption. Who will take the free pass? Who will miss out? I felt like such an idiot. And who will be sent home? Trina. 